I am bringing to you a huge grocery. Stop! Cut. I am cut. bringing to you today a huge, huge, cut, huge cut, grocery cut, haul. Boys. Stop. <laughs> friends welcome back to the channel i'm tara your frugal active mama thanks so much for stopping by i really hope you stick around and watch this video because we got some great deals for you that i found in the past week or so uh for grocery deals just want to show you what we were able to get in our weekly budget we try to stay within 200 dollars a month for our family of seven I have totally busted my budget for this month, but it's okay because I got way more than I normally do. Most of it is all stuff that will keep for a while, has a long shelf life, and is just a stock up and a lot of pantry items and snack foods for the kids. So let's take a look and see what I got. I was on a special sale for my store only, five for $10 and then $2 each, which I've told you guys, I think, or in a past video that $1.99 is the cheapest I have ever seen the um, bag draw shrimp. So I went ahead and grabbed five of those. These will be great for lunches for myself uh, for the next few weeks. Great stock up right there. And then the other best deal of this last week was uh, blackberries. These were only 99 cents each. The cheapest I usually see blackberries is they'll get down to 77 cents or 88 cents as sprouts, but I've never seen them that cheap at my local grocery store. So I actually got five of them. So you can see that the kids have already eaten two and a half. That's it. Um, I got a bag of sweet potatoes, but I actually already cooked them up for my um, potato mixture for the week. This will use as side dishes and I like, I really like this in the morning for kind of like a breakfast hash. I got 10 avocados. They were only 45 cents. That is the cheapest. I found them around here in this area. I used to be able to find them for three for a dollar when we lived in Missouri, uh, but we don't have that store in Iowa, unfortunately. Hopefully they put one in soon. Fingers crossed. Um, I got a thing of cilantro, green onions, sour cream, Oranges were on sale, it was a great price. I think $1.99 for four pounds. Guys, that's crazy. Uh, green beans were on sale. These tomatoes were on sale and I have been longing for fresh tomatoes and my salads and things like that. And I have a real hard time buying them from the store because they just don't taste as good out of the garden, but they were on sale. So I went ahead and got them. Uh, bananas, cause we always need bananas in this house. I only got one thing of butter because I thought the price at Aldi was cheaper and it wasn't. And I know that butter store brand butter will get down to $1.99 for that pack when it's on its rock bottom sale. So I'm just going to have to wait and hope that somebody has it on sale in the next couple weeks because I really need to stock up. Um, I needed onions badly. Lemons were on sale, and I'm going to do a couple chicken re recipes with them, some shrimp re recipes with them, and also I love lemon in my water, so there's that. Grapes that I've already washed and put away for the kids for snacking for fruit for the week. And then asparagus was on sale. Not the best sale that asparagus will get down to, but still a pretty good price. So um, it takes at least two of these to feed our family of seven, so that will be a great side dish for two meals. And then we come over to Walmart. I got a couple of these clearance uh, bagged stir fry kits, salads. I like to just cook up the greens and vegetables that are inside of them. I don't usually use the sauce. I haven't tried this sauce though, and it sounds really good, but I might be able to make a healthier version homemade. So I'm gonna look into that. But I love just frying up the greens in it and using it for a side dish or for a breakfast or lunch for myself and then Aldi was all out of the big bags of kale so I just got a little bunch of kale uh, from Walmart Let's start over here I found two loaves of sourdough bread for Clint he's gonna love that these were only 99 cents a loaf lots of protein bars and like I said snack items so we got a lot a lot of stuff here these Jif power up things a dollar a box these ones were only 65 cents a box. One dollar, one dollar, 
99 cents for these hot chocolate mixes, which we probably are not going to be using these much anymore because it's starting to finally get warm, but we'll have them for next winter. <laughs> these were only $2 for this whole box of 24 because they're Halloween themed, but who cares? They taste like goldfish still. Graham crackers, 50 cents a box. These were 75 cents each, so I got six of them. Cheese, mozzarella cheese that I will shred up into probably half and half and put them into gallon size bags and then I can put them into the freezer. But this was $8 for this whole brick, which is a lot of money up front for me normally for cheese, but it's five pounds each. So way less than even a dollar a pound, which you will never find in the store. So uh, Greek yogurt, uh, only 99 cents each. These little bags of bell peppers were only 99 cents. These are like four or five dollars in the store. Maybe three if you can get them on sale, but still. Uh, this was $2.99 from the heavy whipping cream that I take in my coffee. Now, when it goes on sale, I can get it for $1.99 in the grocery store, but it was just on sale a week ago, so it will not be on sale like that again for another three to four weeks. So this is cheaper than its normal price in the store. And I only got two when it was on sale, so I should have gotten more. Uh, this chocolate oat milk was only 99 cents. Cabbage was only 19 cents a pound. So I did get two regular sour creams. Clint likes actual sour cream better than the Greek yogurt. So I splurged on these for 50 cents each for him. <laughs> Cottage cheese, only 65 cents each. I got four containers of those. Jasmine rice, which is delicious. It's one of my favorites. Only a dollar for that bag. The canola oil are only 50 cents a bottle. Whole wheat flour, only 85 cents. Cheapest I've ever seen whole wheat flour. Um, I would have cleaned the shelf of these, but there was a lady in front of me who grabbed all except for this one, so I was very sad. Holy butter, am I right? Okay, this butter was only a dollar for this pound, which is the cheapest I've ever found it in the store is $1.99 when it goes on major sale, and that happens very rarely, and I am out of butter. So I really needed to stock up on this, and butter, you can freeze butter, and it will save forever. Now it is unsalted, which I normally like this salted butter better, but beggars can't be choosers. So we'll go with this. We can always add just a little bit of salt or flavor to it. Some sliced cheddar cheese. It was $3.58 for this whole thing. It was only $1.49 a pound for this sliced cheese. So I thought that would be great for sandwiches, grilled cheeses, things like that. This box is cups of pineapples, which would be great for snack time or kids' lunches to school. So I think I talked about this in one of my other videos, this Oi uh, yogurt by YoPlay. Guys, it is so good, it's like a dessert. This entire case was only $1.99. Um, the flavor is like a caramel, it's so good. So they had some reduced ready to go sliced lunch meat at one of the stores. So this was only $1.74. 214 and 246. So some good prices in there for straight from the deli sliced lunch meat ham and turkey. A couple different kinds. I thought these were cute for the kids and especially for Deegan to throw in his school lunches. They're like little bags of cheese teeny tiny cheese cubes in there. Only 99 cents for these ones. And then the bigger cubed cheeses were $1.25. So I got a couple of those. Some frozen hard salami. Again, great for lunches and snacking. The kids love to snack on salami. We could cut these up and throw them onto his pizzas. This was only $3 for this whole bag. Pepperoni. Same thing. This was $8 for this whole bag, but I mean, look at all that pepperoni. Turkey. I got three turkey breasts and there's one, there's one ham down there. 
This was $1.99 for this double pack. So it makes it basically a dollar for each thing. And they're already frozen, so it's perfect. Lunch meat freezes amazingly, guys. Okay, so I got these for me. These are great. They taste amazing, and they're really low points because they're turkey sausage. These were only 50 cents each. I, got, I only got two of these. These were only 45 cents. Um, they're huge beef sausage. We've never had them before, so I thought I'd try them for that price. This was $2.99, so it's $3 for this three pound pack, which makes them a dollar a pound. This is what we love to use in our crock pot slop that I make a lot for the kids. It's very, very good. Couple of hot dogs. These again were only 45 cents each. We've never had this brand before, but for that price, I thought I'd try it. And there's no sugar added, so that's always nice. And then I got two things of these hot Italian sausages, and these were 50 cents each. I thought these would be great for Clint and I throwing on the grill since it's starting to get to be that time of year. These cream cheeses were only 45 cents each. Again, never had or heard of that brand, but we thought we'd give them a try for that price. In these boxes are the Belveda protein cookies, the banana and chocolate chunk ones. The box was $2 for the whole box. So I got two of those. Um, I got a few salsas. I used to love this Chi Chi's brand salsa. I got a couple flavors of this. They were only a dollar. Uh, smoky Chipotle and just regular roasted tomato. So I'm real excited about that. And then I also saw this salsa that I thought Clint would really like. Margaritaville chunky salsa, a dollar. Couple of cans of coconut milk for a dollar each. Uh, we needed to stock up on mayonnaise. That's one of the ingredients ingredients that I use in my homemade ranch. So, and I really like mayo on my wraps and sandwiches and things like that. So I got a couple of these light mayos, only 85 cents. This big, this makes the best ranch. It's a little high in calories, but it's delicious. Uh, a dollar for that. And then I thought I'd try this one. This has half the fat and calories of regular mayonnaise. And I've heard a lot of people use this on Weight Watchers and Trim Healthy Mama, and it was only 85 cents. So this syrup is not the kind of syrup that we usually use for the kids, uh, but we are close to being almost completely out of our good pure maple syrup. And I saw this for only 89 cents, so I thought this would at least get us by until I can get up into the city to Sam's Club where I normally get the pure maple syrup. So I got four of those at 89 cents. I thought Deegan would really appreciate this peanut butter. It was only 75 cents and it's a honey creamy peanut butter. Again, I am not sure what I'm going to make it into this city to make it to Sam's Club. And that's where I like to buy all my spices. I think they're the cheapest there. Um, but I am completely out of garlic powder, which if you know me, I put garlic in literally everything. So I cannot be out of garlic powder. <laughs> it cannot happen. So I had to get this. I got a couple sauces and salad dressings just to try marinades, things like that. This was the most expensive one. My dad made me buy this. He said it was the best thing ever. So I spent a dollar fifty on it, which I was like, dang dad. And then a couple fun flavored ranches, honey wasabi for 50 cents, or like buffalo for 50 cents. This cilantro lime was, I don't see a price tag on it, but I'm gonna say it's probably about 45 like these ones. And this is garlic parmesan and honey citrus vinaigrette. Then in my last discount shopping haul, I showed you guys about this big kind of miscellaneous box. That's $5 for this whole box. And they just kind of throw in a whole bunch of random different snack things. I mainly got it because it has a ton of these. And I think Deegan will love taking these in his school lunches. They also will be great for after school snacks and a sporting, sporting snack boxes for the kids. So lots of great stuff in here. Even some microwave popcorn, um, different, tons of different kinds of chips and little snacky crackers and things like that. So real excited about that. This box is full of 
Miss Vicky's sea salt chips and then these reduced reduced fat kettle chips full of that. There's, I don't know, there's probably at least 50 in that box. I paid $2 for this whole box. And then down underneath of that, you can see it's a late July snacks. They are the late July um, individual size multi-grain tortilla chips. So I thought these would be great for me for little snack items. I They're pretty low in points. So I thought I'd grab a box of that. That was also $2 for the whole box. And then the last thing. So in the store, this was all taped up. You couldn't see what was inside of, inside of it. But you get to see this these stickers on the outside. It's natural hickory smoked traditional bulk bacon. Slab bacon, 30 pounds for only $28.70. That makes it less than a dollar a pound. Way less than a dollar a pound, which is amazing. You can never find bacon for less than a dollar a pound. So then I open it. <laughs> Look at how thick this bacon is. Do you guys see that? It is like three pieces of normal bacon <laughs> in one slice. It's huge. But look at how meaty it is. I'm really excited about this. The kids will absolutely go bonkers over one of these because we love bacon so much. I'm going to separate it and freeze it into probably about chunks like this. Because then each person gets one slice. <laughs> and that should be enough. But this was an amazing deal. They did have a couple other good bacon deals. Um, but this was actually the cheapest one and I'm really happy with it. That big bacon. It's going to be so good. So that is everything that I got. I actually, I went to two discount stores and so they're both stores are kind of mixed in with each other. I'm going to go ahead and add this to this grocery haul video, even though I didn't buy any of this. This is not a personal grocery haul of mine. Uh, we are lucky enough that to have my parents here in town with us. They recently moved here to be closer to the kids and to be more involved. So we've been super lucky to have them. Uh, they were heading over to the next town over, which is where our local Aldi is. And so they asked if there was anything that they could pick up for me. So I sent them a little list and they were so kind enough to grab it and buy it for the kids. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and add this to this video, but this is not included in my monthly budget because I didn't pay for it. So um, we got two of these bags of Care Care oranges. These are my absolute, absolute favorite oranges. So I say this stuff is for the kids, but these oranges are probably more for me. Um, but these are what I think the best flavored oranges ever. Uh, so we grabbed two of those because they were on sale for this three pound bag. It was just over $2, so way less than a dollar a pound. Uh, we haven't had apples in a while just because they haven't been on sale, but all they had gala apples, do you say gala or gala? Gala apples on sale for less than a dollar a pound. So this is actually the second bag. The kids already opened up one bag and destroyed it because they haven't had apples in a while so they were very excited about that um kiwi uh this kiwi is almost a dollar a pound which is the cheapest i've seen it in a very very long time so i wanted to grab some for the kids it was just over two dollars for this two pound container so like i said just right over a dollar a pound and they get quite a bit in there so there's probably at least one one or two for each of them and then they actually grabbed four strawberries, but as you can see, they've already eaten through a container and a half <laughs> because again, strawberries have not been good prices lately. So we do not buy produce if it is not on sale and in season, which strawberries aren't in season yet, but they've been having a couple good sales on them lately. So we grabbed four, these were a um, dollar twenty each container which it does get a lot cheaper than that when they are in season but this is by far the cheapest it's been since last summer probably so I want to grab it just to give them a little bit of variety because they are getting a little sick of oranges because that seems to be the only good 
uh, fruit on sale through the winter. Very small Sam's Club haul. Um, very few things, but I still spent $35, which is crazy to me, but it lasts us a really long time. I have not bought these items in a few months, um, probably like six months. So it's one of those pay more now, but save more in the long run type thing. I've been needing lemon juice forever. Got two of those to hopefully last me a while. I love getting my spices at Sam's Club because like I said, they this one of this size will last me about six months. Um, I am missing my garlic powder. I don't know what happened to it. So I got parsley, rosemary, thyme. I also got garlic powder that's missing. I'm sure one of the kids put it away somewhere and it's not here. Um, I did get some brown gravy because I don't usually use this, but I've had a few recipes call for this and I haven't had it. So I've kind of just done my own thing, but I went ahead and got it. I don't know. The onion soup, the Lipton onion soups. These things are only like $3 at Sam's Club for all of these, which I felt was a really good deal. I don't know how much they are in the regular store, honestly, because I never buy them there. I would just always buy them at Sam's. Um, but a lot of recipes call for these and these are also only like one point for a packet on Weight Watchers. So it's a really great dip and, um, it's great to add in for soups and things like that too, as well as like on roasts and chicken and all around good stuff. Um, I am very low on my garlic, so I went ahead and grabbed this. This is more of a convenience buy. Um, but it lasts us forever, so I feel like I can justify the cost. You know, it really never goes bad. And like, if I buy a whole bunch of heads of garlic, eventually they start sprouting. So I justify this convenience cost. And it's really not that bad. It's only like $5 for this whole tub, and it lasts us at least six months, probably. And then there's this. Here's the thing. So here at our current school, they have a snack time every single day. And I never really thought much of it because just we've never done snack time before. Um, so we didn't send them with it. And I guess I always thought that if the kids were hungry, if they wanted to take snack time, they would tell us and they would ask us. Um, but Deegan has been eating one of the teacher snacks every single day. And I did not know that until I subbed for the other kindergarten class. And I was like, oh my gosh, these other parents send a snack with their kid, every single one of them. So I felt like a real bad mom and I felt terrible that my child was just mooching off the teacher every day. So I bought this to try to replenish that and try to make up for an entire school year of my child mo mooching off of her. So that's what that is for. So sorry, Mrs. DeBoof, if you're watching this. <laughs> These are coming your way. I also found this guy just now underneath my dining room table. I don't know how it got there. It must have fallen when I was bringing everything in. But I also got this. I love adding these um, like everything else that I already talked about today. Just adding them to recipes to add for a little deeper um, depth of flavor. Although I am a little bummed because this is a much smaller size than what they normally carry. So... He might have to do some more shopping around to see if this is still the better buy. Bummer. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it uh, gave you just some ideas on what good prices are for things. I know for a long time, I never really understood exactly what a good price was on produce, on meats. It took me a long time to figure out rock bottom prices and stock up prices and things like that. So hopefully that helps you if you have a hard time figuring that out or if you just haven't learned it for your area yet. Now granted, all areas are different. This is more Midwestern prices, just so you know. <laughs> I do hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration to save some money and cut that grocery budget because you totally can do it. It just takes a little bit of planning, a little bit of diligence, and a little bit of hard work, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, if you have any questions on anything at all, let me know. So that's all I have. Have a great day. See you soon.